Hello everyone, this is Mosamad Irene Nahar. As you can see, I am going to talk about the phase pure copper bismuth oxide with tunable optical band gaps for photocathodes. And before going to my presentation topic, I would like to briefly talk about the inspiration behind this work. Well, our prime objective is to build a photoelectrochemical device for solar fuel such as hydrogen production. The prototype of our self-sustained photoelectrochemical device is shown here, where we choose bismuth based metal oxide namely bismuth vanadium oxide and copper bismuth oxide as an active photoanode and photocathode material respectively. And we put all the extra layer for attaining an energetically favorable transport pathway for carriers. We have already studied our active photoanode material which is published in Journal of Applied Physics. Now coming back to our present work, out of various materials we choose eco-friendly and sustainable CBO material for attaining high solar to hydrogen efficiency. We used an industrially scalable synthesis process shown in the flow diagram with the combination of hand milling, ball milling and sintering. The details will be found in reference too. Now moving to the results. ACM micrograph of the samples with their corresponding grain size histogram are displayed here. The grain size reduction with sequential ball milling duration is clearly observable. The XRD pattern shows that the CBO formation starts during sintering although there is a possibility of the presence of tiny unreacted cupric oxide. The benefits of cupric oxide phase segregation in CBO has been reported in reference 3. For further confirmation of phase purity, we also did Raman which is more sensitive than XRD where the result clearly show the phase pure CBO formation and gradual grain size reduction with the sequential ball milling duration. And uh, the talk plot generated from the diffused diffraction data displayed here show that the band gaps are direct and uh, tunable between 1.84 to 1.74 which are summarized in the table. We have also observed a gradual increase in bismuth copper ratio from the XPS and ICPMS data summarized here. To theoretically explain the observation, we are also doing DFT based theoretical study. The unit cell of CBO is shown here, where our calculated band gap shows a good alignment with the experimental data. Besides, further experimental and theoretical studies are in progress and uh, thanks for listening.